Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you might be able to tell from my slightly nasally voice that I'm ill. And it was getting to the stage where I thought I'm not going to have a video to put up tomorrow or like today when you're going to be watching this. Um, so I just thought, Steph, just slap on a load of makeup, do your hair, make yourself feel a bit better and just film a video. So that is what I'm doing today. Um, it is going to be quite a lazy video for me. I'm not going to be doing anything fancy. I'm just going to be sitting here talking to you. But then again, what do I really ever else... What do I... What am I saying here? Basically, I've decided to keep today's video really, really chilled out. I've gotten a few requests to do this on Instagram, and I also really like watching this sort of video myself. Um, it's pretty much... Well, it's called Blogger Mail, so it's pretty self-explanatory. But basically, it's when bloggers, like myself, show you guys what they've been sent in the mail. Um, and I've been, like, in and out of the house for the past few weeks, and I haven't really, like, gone to the post office and picked up some parcels that I've missed, so I've now got them all, and... It's it's insane, the amount of things I've been sent for the past two weeks. Um, I'm not going to lie, this isn't like a normal sort of week or fortnight for me. This is like a very, very exciting week slash fortnight for me. Um, so I thought, you know, what better time to start off this sort of mini-series than just jumping straight into it and talking about all these really exciting things that... Some things I have no idea what they are. Some things I do know what they are, but either way they're still really exciting. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would just go through everything, just talk through some of the things that I've got and maybe do like mini reviews of them, if I do swatch like any products or something. Um, and yeah, so I should probably do a slight disclaimer, um, I blog for a living and I do get sent quite a lot of stuff, like I said, this is like a lot of stuff for me. Um, but yeah, I do get sent lots of things for free to review and like post about on my blog. Um, I am very, very lucky to do that and I'm not showing off in any way. Um, I did just think you guys might like to see this because it's kind of like a haul, but also like a surprise for me, I guess, because I don't know everything that's featured in this video. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys don't think I'm bragging or anything like that. I did get a few requests to do videos like this and I also really, really like looking at them myself, myself, purely because I am very, very nosy. So um, thumbs up for being nosy. So first up we have two packages from Public Desire. Now if you know what Public Desire is, you will know what is in this box. They basically sell the best and the most affordable shoes ever. And I'm not going to lie, I have already opened up these, but I thought I would show them anyway. And to be honest, I haven't just opened up them. I've actually worn these to Fashion Week as well, if I can get them out of the bag without making loads of noise. But here we have the sandals that I wore to Fashion Week. I will maybe try and leave a link down below to them and maybe a link down below to like a photo of me wearing them or something. Um, but I absolutely love these. These are actually quite comfy to walk around London in all day. And I just really, really like them. I've seen like the thigh, not the thigh length, the um, knee length version. I really wanted them, but they were out of my size. So I settled for the ankle version. And yeah, they're just really nice comfy shoes. Even though it's kind of turning into autumn winter, um, I'm still going to wear these, I'm just going to have to get through the cold toes. Um, but yeah, I really love these shoes, and... Nope, I have nothing else to say about it. So in the next box are a pair of shoes that I haven't really looked at. I took a photo of them for Instagram, and then, I don't know, I didn't really do much else. I haven't tried them on or anything, but they look a bit like this. And again, I will link them down below. I do actually have a pair in white from a different company. Um, but I absolutely love these. I really like my white pair, but obviously we all know I like to wear black shoes. And again, probably not that suitable for autumn and winter, but who cares? Cold feet are, you know, I can deal with cold feet. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these, and I'm going to wear the hell out of them. I don't know where, probably just at home, but yeah, I really like them. I just have to make sure I paint my toes when I do wear them. Next we have something that arrived in the mail this morning. Um, I've ripped it open just so I don't have to like faff around with that. But inside we have the Braun Satin. Hang on, let me just put this bag down. I'm going to open all these things up. Oh, I know what it is. So I've been sent the Braun Satin Hair um, Nano Glide. I don't know, hair straighteners basically. And I wasn't actually expecting these. I was expecting this, which is the Braun Silk Appeal 5. I'm doing some work with Braun over the next week or so. Um, and it's to do with their new silk appeal. Um, I don't really know why they've sent this as well, but hey, I'm not complaining. Um, let me have a look. I think I've heard about this, actually. It's basically meant to adapt to your hair. I don't really know how that works, but it's got, like, different languages and, like, length of hair and coloured yes or no and the thickness and everything like that. So it sounds really interesting. Um, 
I think these retail for around £100, so they might give like GHD a run for their money if they're any good. I'm personally like a GHD sort of girl, but I'm open to trying different things. Um, Built-in sensors in the plate detect the moisture level of each hair strand and automatically adapt to the ideal temperature from root to tip. Sounds good to me. I wonder if you can use it on wet hair. I don't tend to use straighteners on wet hair, but it'd be good to know in case I am feeling very, very lazy. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on this one. And like I said, I also got the Silk Appeal 5, which is a wet and dry epilator. I've been using... It's right there. I was going to show you, but it looks disgusting. I can't remember what brand it is. Let me see. On the plug, it says Philips. Um, and I've been using that for so long, and it still hurts like a bitch. I know they say that epilating gets better, and it did get better, but it still just kills every time I do it. Um, so I have been looking at different epilators, and I've heard a lot about the Silk Appeal. So when they contacted me and asked me if I'd like to review one, then I was like, yes, please, turn me into a hairless baby dolphin, or something along those lines. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to use this. Also really excited about the fact that you can use it in the shower, so that might sort of soften up the hairs and make it a lot easier for me to just like zzzz, and turn me into that, you know, baby dolphin. It says it also comes with four extras. Let me see what those four extras are. I have no idea, but it says 28 micro grip tweezers. Tweet. Let me start that again. But it said it's meant to be virtually painless and it works in the bath or shower for a gentler epilation. Um, perfectly fits all your body curves, anti slip grip, easy to control, pulsating active vibrations for an ultra, extra gentle epilation. Those words are hard to say when they're together. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to use this again. We'll keep you posted, stay tuned for a blog post I guess, because that's what I'm going to be working with them for, and yeah, I will keep you posted. So next we have two very, very exciting packages from Farfetch. Now, I've never actually shopped on Farfetch before, but I did a blog post a few weeks back I think, and basically I won a voucher for Farfetch just by doing that, and I think it was around like £225 to spend on there or something, and I decided to you know, obviously spend it, and I also decided to spend the money on not just myself. Um, let me have a look, see which is which, because I know exactly what they are. Okay, so that's the one that's not for me. Let me start with this one. So here we have a very, very cute Kenzo clutch slash wristlet slash thing that you put things in. And as you can see, it's got like multicolored on the other side. But I don't know, I just really like this. It's not a necessity or anything like that. I just thought, you know, Steph, why not? You don't normally sort of treat yourself to designer bags or anything like that. And even though I know it's like not a big fat designer bag, it was just something nice, like a little treat to myself. Um, so yeah, I bought that and I was going to wear it to Fashion Week, but I didn't really end up going to Fashion Week that much. But I'm sure I will get a lot of wear out of it. Um, it'll probably even just be good to store like, even just like my wallet sort of things inside it's so like cards and keys and stuff like that so I might actually get a lot more use out of it than I originally thought but um yeah I really like it it's kind of got like a towely felty material on the letters and yeah what else do I say about bag it's pretty so next up we have another Kenzo bag this is the Kenzo tiger clutch I think it's called it's got like the slight tiger embossing and the reason this is so exciting is because I'm giving it away. Um, I was going to buy it for myself, but then I saw that I only had one more in stock. So I thought I would just get it for you guys, because obviously I hit 5,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel recently. And I also hit 3,000 followers on Blog Loving. So it's kind of like a little thank you just for being so nice over the past few years. Um, I will leave all other details to the competition down below. Um, but it's a really simple competition. It's only like leave your email address and like a page or something. Um, but yeah, I thought I would give this away to you guys, so hopefully, you know, whoever wins it, you enjoy it. And yeah, just a big thank you, and I'm not going to get sobby here, I promise. So the next box, as you might be able to see from the slightly ripped upside down words here, um, it's from a company called Tetox. Now, I've tried a lot of Tetoxes in my time. Some of them have been good, some of them have been horrendous. Um, but I thought this was the prettiest, and they asked me to put that down. Basically, they contacted me about a week or so ago. And they said to me, you know, would you like to try our tea tox? And I wasn't really in the market for it, but um, I am thinking about doing like a big general review of loads of different tea toxes because I think I have tried about five now, so I might do like a which is best sort of thing. Um, but I saw this and I thought it was just like the prettiest tea tox that I'd come across. That might sound weird. Um, but what does it say? 
Dear Stephanie, here is your 14 days detox treatment. I hope you will like our tea and are looking forward to your post. Enjoy, lots of love from Berlin. And then it just has the contact details from the lady that sent it. So thank you very much. Um, I will again keep you posted with this. Uh, one of them is the good morning tea and one of them is the good night tea. And it's like a skinny tea, so it's just like a standard detox tea where it's gonna make you bloat less, I suppose. Um, but it sounds like it actually be quite tasty, like one of them includes lemongrass, goji berries, um, ginger root, horsetail herbs, which I have no idea what that is, and the other one contains peppermint, lemon balm leaves, lime blossoms, so it all sounds like quite tasty as opposed to the other ones that just kind of taste a bit like grass, so fingers crossed this will taste good. Um, and yeah, if it is sort of one that is any good, I will let you guys know obviously in the blog post that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, like I said, I will keep posted on that. Another parcel I received this morning came from KSAP, and basically, if you're not familiar with KSAP, it's a really cool website that you can either obviously buy different cases for your phones or your laptops, or you can actually make your own. Now, I decided to make my own just because I could. They gave me a code to use, and they're also giving away a code to one of you guys, so I'm going to be doing another competition on my blog very, very soon to keep your eyes peeled with that. Um, but if not, if you don't happen to win that giveaway, or if you are just feeling like you want to make a case right now, I will leave a discount code here um, so you guys can get some money off when you make a case. But yeah, um, let's open this up. I have no idea what it actually looks like because I just saw it on a screen, so fingers crossed it looks good. Right, the moment of truth. Oh! Oh, I like it. Thank you, device. Okay, so just this piece of paper in there that just like says thank you for making your case. Look what I made! It's really simple, um, I basically just wanted it to look like those IKEA pillows. Um, that might sound a little bit crazy, but um, yeah, let me know if you've seen those pillows because I really, really like them and I couldn't find a case at all that looked anything like them at all. So I decided to make my own and I chose to do it in like a matte finish because I really like the way matte phones look. Um, and you can sort of choose from glossy and different things like that and you can basically make whatever you want using case app. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. I might put it on my phone now. So here's my iPhone. You know what, I don't know if I'll actually be able to take this off without peeing my nails off. No, I can't. So we'll just hold it here. That's what it'll look like. And I can, you know, for reference, you know, this is how it'll look if I call someone. Um, but you know, obviously. What am I saying here? I'm like delirious from the amount of painkiller medication I've been on. Next I have this little parcel here, I have no idea what's inside it, so let's rip it open. Again, if I can do it without peeing my nails off. Woo! I wasn't expecting this at all. It's the Simple Kind to Skin Illuminating Radiance Cream. This sounds nice. Let's have a good old go, shall we? Oh, that came out quickly. So it's like a really nice lightweight cream. I wonder if it's like a gradual tanner or something, or if it just adds shimmer. Doesn't smell of anything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it just adds like a nice subtle sheen. That seems really nice. Um, three vitamins, four skin loving ingredients. It's got SPF 15 in it, which is really good. Um, and I think it just adds radiance to your skin. So if only I opened that beforehand, I could have added some sort of radiance to my very dull, ill looking skin. Um, so, thank you for that. That's, I wasn't expecting that at all. I have been waiting to open this for such a long time because if you're familiar with what these things are, you will know exactly why. Now, Pop Chips contacted me. I'd never actually tried Pop Chips, but I heard them are really good. They're basically like puffed crisps, I think. I have no idea, but anything food related gets me very excited. And they basically asked me if I'd like to receive a little hamper from them, which obviously food related. I said, yes, please give me all the food you've got or something to that effect. And they sent me a lunchbox and it includes loads of food. I don't know how I'm going to show this. Basically, we have two packets of their pop chips, mature cheddar and onion potato chips. I'm going to try one of these right now. Mm. Oh, so they look like this. Ah, that looks attractive. Oh my god. These are really good. I really hope I don't have loads of food in my teeth now, but if I do, sorry about that. What is this? What the hell is this? 
Oh my god, this is so exciting. I should have been like a food blogger or something. I'm going to remove these packages because they're going to be so rustly. Yeah, I should have been a food blogger so I could just eat all the food all the time. Look at this. A little pop chips cheese board. Or I think that's a cheese board. Is that what this is then? Is this cheese? They've given me like a cheese knife as well. I've never received a free knife. First time for everything. To be honest, I've never received free cheese either. Eh. Oh, I don't know. I'm looking for my scissors, but I don't know where they are. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Cheese! And it's Cornish cheese from Marks and Spencer's. So we'll just put. Ta da! So tonight I can eat my cheese. And what is this? Onion chutney. Oh my god. I am just going to eat all of this later. I love onions and I love caramelised things. I think it's like the most exciting package that I've got. Out of everything I've gotten, I get more excited about cheese and jars of onion. Mm. Next up I have this bag from, by the looks of things, Flirt of England, which do those really, really nice bras. And I can see that they have sent me a bra. I think this is like a first time for everything. I'm going to show my bra on YouTube. Look at that. I love their bras so, so much. They're like my favourite bras. They're so comfy. I think I've got one on now, actually. I won't show you, obviously. Um, but I've actually got so many of them. Like the, the most beautiful bras I think I've probably ever seen. Um, and they're just really, really good quality as well. They're kind of like satiny and they've got mesh. And like I said, they're really comfy, but they also look really sexy. Um, so yeah, I will link down below like all of the Fleur England bras or just like this style. Um, but I think there's like the champagne style, maybe I'm wrong. I think this is a champagne style. Who knows? Let's say it is. Got a pair of knickers to match. Oi oi. What is this? Gallimard perfume and something French. Perfume. What is this? Let me open this up. Come on. Ooh. What that? I don't know what this is. So, if I show you, that's what comes in the box. Now, am I right in thinking that this is like an iPhone case with perfume? Because if I'm right, then that is very interesting. Something definitely smells perfumey. Let's give it. It's actually perfume. Oh, that's really nice. That smells like something I've had before as well. Should we smell all of them? I probably, you probably can't see like the mist and I'm just looking like a crazy person like... That's really nice as well. Oh, that one's strange. I don't dislike it, but it kind of smells like Indian food. But I like Indian food, so it's fine. All this sniffing is making me want to sneeze. How do we do this? How do I... Is this one I can take off? I feel like I'm going to break that, so I'm going to leave it. And I just realised that I actually think this is for an iPhone 5 or a 5S. It's not going to fit my 6, which is really annoying, but I guess I can give it on to a friend or something like that. Um, and I can always just use the perfume myself. I can always be really greedy like that. Um, but I really love the idea of this. It's just a shame that it doesn't fit my 6, but... Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to use the perfume, so I've never heard of this brand before. Gallimard? I'm definitely saying that wrong, but um, yeah. I'm going to be checking that out later and see if they've got other flavours. Flavours? Fragrances. Bloody hell, there's more in the bag. What's this? Oh, it's Bagsy! I've got a few things from Bagsy. This is the Wonder Wand Concealer and Illuminating Duo. Let's have a look at this. There's a lot of packaging in this. Come on. Packaging is like the bane of my life at the moment. So yeah, it's called the Wonder Wand. Oh, this looks fun. Let me see. Oh, it's like two-toned. 
That's really weird. I don't know how that would conceal and illuminate at the same time. I'm guessing it would be good for your under eyes. Um, that's really, really interesting. I don't think I've ever really seen anything like that before. Um, I've tried a lot of the, or a few of the other Bagsy products and they're really, really nice. Like, I really like the matte bronzer. Um, but I've never really seen anything like this. I'm really like confused by it. I guess you could use one and then use the other one separately. I don't know if it twists up. It twists up, so that's really good. Um, but yeah, that seems really interesting. Thank you very much. What else have we got? Ooh, another Bagsy thing. This is the Bagsy Pretty Cheeks Velvet Blush. How do I open this? Like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah. Let's have a look. This kind of seems like one of the um, body shop domes that I showed recently on like one of my new launches, but a blusher version. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, it's kind of powdery as well. So it's like a cream to powder, I guess. It just sort of blends into the skin really nicely. I don't think I've ever actually had a cream blusher that blends into the skin that well. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's got like a nice sheen to it at the same time. It's very nice. Oh, and that one is in the shade 01 Velvet Rose, so I'm guessing they come in different shades as well. Inside the bag is also a lip coat, um, and this is basically like a lipstick sealer. I've already tried one of these before, so I'm not going to open this one up because I do actually have one in my beauty drawer. Um, so maybe I'll pop this in like a little giveaway bag or something soon. Um, but this is really, really good. If you haven't tried it, it's like really, really cheap, like four quid or something. And it genuinely does make your lipstick just stay on for like a whole day. Um, so that's really, really good. So you guys can actually reap the benefits of that. And then finally we have this, which looks like a little notebook. It comes with a little thing. I won't read all of that. Let me see. Ah. Oh. They've gone and put my blog name on it. That is so nice. I love personalised things like that. And I love notebooks. I was going back to uni on Monday, well, like a few days ago, but I was really flu, so I ended up missing my first day back. Um, but this will be really good for uni. And jotting down notes slash doodling pictures of my lecturers, because that's something I seem to do. Thank you very much. So I didn't get any use out of that for London Fashion Week, but I will definitely get use out of that for uni, so yeah. Thank you. So yeah, that's everything. Um, you know, not a lot of stuff, just a few bits and bobs. Um, obviously I'm being very, very sarcastic because I have been completely spoilt here. I'm just looking at all the parcels around my feet now that I need to clean up in a second before Ollie shouts at me. Um, but yeah, it's kind of been a bit like Christmas really. Maybe even a bit better than Christmas. Maybe not better than Christmas because there wasn't as much food, but I did get those cheese things and that cheese and that chutney, so um, I'd say it's on a level. What am I talking about here? So anyway, I'd better go and clean up all of these boxes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you did like this sort of impromptu video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And obviously let me know if you have tried any of the products featured in this video. Um, what else can I say? Don't forget to enter my competition to win the Kenzo bag. I will link that all down below. Uh, I'll put it in like one of the top lines or something because it's a very exciting giveaway, I've heard you say so myself. Um, and yeah, please subscribe. If you do happen to want to see more of me, I promise I don't normally talk like Macy Gray. I don't sing like Macy Gray either, but um, I feel like I need to sing like Macy Gray now. I try to say goodbye and I choke. Nailed it. But anyway, that's enough of me. I feel like I need to go and eat something and just take loads of tablets to make my head not feel like it's filled with snot. Which it essentially is. Um, I'm going to wash my hand as well because this probably doesn't look very good. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I've said all that before. I have nothing else to say other than goodbye. And have a good day. And I'll see you soon. And I love ya.